Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show. Thursday morning as we approach the weekend. Um, and right now, interestingly enough, we're going to be talking about medical innovations, things that are changing the world out there because technology is always meant to make our lives easier. Yeah, but it's also really scary when you think <laughs> of what is possible by humans. Gregory, what you got? Oh, man. Well, these are going to both blow your mind and freak you out just a little bit. And I'm saying this to you, Alana. I think some of the most <laughs> interesting innovations and procedures to come up over the past week include a blood test for depression and a groundbreaking surgery to remove... <laughs> 26 cockro cockroaches from her hands. Yeah. Oh. It was so freaky, you couldn't even say it properly. <laughs> oh, man, the thought is terrifying. Now, every year, um, and this is looking at our first medical advancements, there are twice as many suicides than there are murders in countries like the United States mm. and South Africa. We've got the eighth highest suicide rate in the world. I don't know how quite to take that on sure. board. So in an effort to combat this, researchers in the US have found a way to assess a person's suicide risk by testing their blood. This is a massive leap forward. And the scientists in Indiana say they've discovered biomarkers in the blood that could be used to identify suicide and depression risk by 72%. This That's is an amazing and amazing thing. Because often a person who is suffering from depression to that degree can't identify it within themselves. And often they don't have the strength or the power or in a mindset to be able to put their hand up to say, help me. So this That's is a massive thing. Amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. But what about this heart in a box story? Uh, you know, this one, I think it does raise a few ethical questions, but it is something that is desperately needed when we look at the need for donors in the heart transplant case. Now, thousands of people in South Africa, they, they need a new heart. But traditionally, hearts are only taken, of course, from, look at that, that is insane. They are normally taken from patients who are still alive but brain dead. Now, this new device called Heart in a Box enables surgeons to remove a dead heart and reanimate it no way. by pumping blood into it, which is exactly what you're looking at here. This is not sci fi, this is something that is a actually dead heart, used. so the yeah. cells are reactivated. They are reactivated by the blood being pumped through it and presumably the energy within that blood. Now, the device has shown promise in heart transplant surgeries, but it is raising some ethical questions as well. Um, how long? should surgeons wait before um, removing sure. a heart that has stopped. Um, it, it is very much a grey area, but it, I suppose wow. it, it does take us a, a step in the right direction. We've spoken about, you know, organ donation and the importance yeah. of that, but that gives like a whole new meaning it to It is a whole new meaning. That's not boxing. donation. Okay, now you want to talk about a bad day, and this one I'm going to go through very quickly for Alana's sake. Can you imagine waking up with some funny feeling in your ear? Uh -huh. no. um, then to have uh, it being discovered that you have got 27 cockroaches oh. in your ear, and this requires a, <laughs> a very oh. special approach. Those were the babies. They were laid there by a female cockroach. Thankfully, the man is all right. He's expected to make a full recovery. Look at the picture! Uh, ah, I, I can't. I, can't. Oh, I don't want to do this God. anymore. Um, so, you know, that, that really is why we rely and love, our, rely so much on our doctors and love them so much just because they ah. are there to remove this from your ear. Oh, I'm going to hold this over you, Alana, for the rest no, of the show. Have you ever experienced a medical mystery or any kind of wonderment that you'd love to share with us? Maybe you've got a story that will blow our minds. Hit us up on our Expresso Morning Show Facebook page. Dude, the heart in a box <laughs> story, I think, is yeah, awesome. That's that's wonderful, wonderful things. But 26 cockroaches in your hey. ear, hey? It's like... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's take that on board while we also listen to the morning headlines with Zoe.